For example, distance time and speed time graphs are there, but in most of the questions are related to the speed time rather than distance time. So figure 1.1 shows a distance time graph for three different objects. Describe the motion of each of an object. What happened to A? Yeah, you can use constant speed, increasing speed or decreasing or stationary. Four words are there. What happened to A? Increasing speed. Increasing speed. So this will be great. What about B? Constant Const speed. Constant speed because a straight line passing through the origin. What about C? A horizontal line? Stationary. Stationary. We'll do distance time graph questions. So on a figure 1.1 shows an axis is used to plot a distance time graph. On a figure 1.1, draw the graph for an object that is moving at a constant speed. Draw a line for a constant speed. Object moving at a constant speed. You can use the screen annotation to complete. Can I do it? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. For an object, yeah, so constant speed, because it should be a straight line and we have to label that as A. What about object speed is decreasing? No, speed, this is actually when you draw from here, this is not decreasing speed. We should draw a curve. Yeah, that's right. Like we should draw a curve. The slope should decrease, which shows that the speed is decreasing. But if you draw a graph like this, it, the distance time graph can never be in a decreasing distance. It can be displacement time, but not distance. Distance is a scalar quantity, so it, it is not affected by the direct. You never draw a distance time graph in this manner. Displacement time graph can be there. It means that the object returned back to the same position. Then it will be a graph like this. But because we have only four possibilities here, object is having a constant speed, increasing speed, decreasing speed, and object is stationary. So the second level B was the object is decreasing the speed. Now in this question, define acceleration means that's a reference to change in speed. In this question, figure 1.1 shows a distance time graph for a journey of a cyclist. Describe the motion of the cyclist from zero to 15 seconds. So what is happening from, when you check the trend from zero to 15 seconds, what is happening? Increasing speed. So increasing speed, you can see the slope is increasing. It shows that the speed is increasing from 15 seconds to 30 seconds. So from 15 to 30 seconds, what happened to speed? Constant. Constant. And from 15, 30 seconds to last 10, uh, like till 40 seconds, what happened to speed? Decreasing. 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 Because the slope decreased, so shows the speed is also decreasing. Now, in the question, the first part of the question, we need average speed to so calculate average speed. So how to calculate average speed? Average speed is a total distance over total time. So we'll calculate the total distance according to the last point it covered divided by total time. So total distance is 300 meters and total time is 40 seconds. So 300 divided by 40, what's the answer? 300 divided by 40, what's the average speed? Seven point five, so seven point five meter per second is the average speed of this object. This is the average speed. The next part is a maximum speed. So to work out the maximum speed, you have three different regions are there. Like we have a region where it was moving at a 
like the speed was increasing then there is a region where the speed is constant and then there is a region where the speed is decreasing which region it will have a maximum speed region a region b or c like a from 0 to 15 second b from 15 to 30 seconds and c from 30 seconds to 40 second which region it will have the maximum speed b b because why b here the speed is increasing and once it reaches certain speed then it continue to move with a constant speed so the section a is like the speed was increasing so in section a the speed was increasing example since so this was two meter per second then it is three meter per second then it is example four meter per second so speed was increasing in section a then from section d the speed does not change at all so it means that section the speed remain constant so it, it continue to move with that speed say four meter per second that is section b and then c means the speed start to decrease so it was, was four like it become three meter per second then it become two meter per second so which region it will have a maximum speed it, in region b it will have a maximum speed so as the question is calculate the maximum speed so we have to find the speed of this region b so how to work out the region b as i mentioned it is starting from 15 and ending at 30 so we'll take a gradient of this part so the first point on x axis is equals to x1 the second point on x axis equals to x2 the first point on y axis y1 and the second point on y axis is y2 in exam you have to show this on your graph like how you are doing this you have to represent like you have to draw these lines x1 y1 x2 y2 and then we'll find the gradient of this part the formula to calculate a gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so y2 is equals to 250 y1 is equals to each box is 10 boxes are 100 so each box is 10 so 50 60 and 70 so this one is 70 this x2 is 30 and x1 is 15 so this will be 180 as we subtract divided by 15 what's the answer 180 divided by 15 12. equals to 12 meter per second so 12 meter per second is the maximum speed of this journey is it uh, clear this part yes sir clear. Okay. anyone having a doubt in there any question or a doubt in this part okay So distance time graphs, in the question, a bus travel at a constant speed, then stops for a short time and then travel at a higher constant speed. So first the bus was moving at a constant speed, there will be a straight line. Then stop for a short time interval, so horizontal line, but a shorter length because time is short. And then it travel at a higher constant speed, so gradient of the slope, should it will be a steeper line which shows that speed is constant, but it is a higher constant speed. That's how we should complete a graph for this motion of the bus. These are speed time graphs. I'm just discussing first the distance time graphs. In this question, at t is equal to 35 seconds, the airplane stopped decelerating. So it means till 35, it was decelerating and then it moved at a constant speed. So we have to complete, sketch a graph for zero to 50 seconds. First, it was stopped like it was decelerating. Decelerating means speed is decreasing. So distance time graph, what should be the shape of a graph for a decreasing speed or deceleration, it will be a 
curve. And then it continued to move at a constant speed. So then we will draw a straight line, shows that it continued to move at a constant speed. So this will be the graph, which will complete for a plane, which is first decelerating from zero to 35 seconds, and then remaining 15 seconds, it continued with a constant speed. At time t is equals to zero, a resultant force acts on the train and start to accelerate forward. Because the speed slope is increasing, it means the speed is increasing. We have to calculate average speed. So how to work out average speed? That is the total distance. Each box is representing 100. So this will be 4,800 divided by, so 4,800 divided by 120. What's the answer for this? 4,800 divided by 120? 40. 40. So 40 meter per second. The next part, we need the speed at time is equals to 100 seconds. This is a curve. So this region, the speed is constant. So we want a speed at time is equals to 100 seconds. So we want the slope of, because this region, it's a straight line graph. So what we can do, we can find the gradient of this part only for straight, because in this region, the speed is constant as it's a straight line till this point, it appeared to be straight. So what we can do, we can work out the gradient of this part where it's a line is straight. The first point on Y axis will be Y1. The first point on X axis is X1. The second point on X axis is X2. And the second point on Y axis will be Y2. So this will be 4,800, this is 1,800. This one, each box is 20, 10 boxes equals to 20. So each box is representing two. So 62, four, six, eight, 70. And this is 200. So we'll find the gradient of this part, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 4,800, y1 is 1,800, which is total 3,000 and 120 minus 70. So 3,000 divided by 50, zero will cancel with zero. And then it will be 60 meter per second. Is it uh, clear this one? How to work out the speed when time is equals to 100 seconds? Because in that region, it was a straight line graph. That's why we took a gradient of that region and find the speed within this region. 